Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and we are back with Warframe from scratch, episode 6. So let's get right into it. We finished crafting that Orican reactor and used it to rank up a new Loka, just one step closer to actually getting some Syndicate weapons and mods to sell. We also finished crafting those Saren parts, used them to start crafting Saren, and we finished crafting the Burstin. Then I decided we should play through some Phobos missions to unlock the boss fight, however, we're not going to go and attempt it just yet. Then, I got the rewards from the pre-update 18 codes. What that is is one week before update 18 came out, every single day they had a new code that you could put in on the website, and it gave you certain rewards. I got five of these codes put in, and that got me five uncommon fusion cores, five rare fusion cores, a two-day credit booster, an Orican Catalyst and Orican Reactor Blueprint. So, it was very nice, and unfortunately for those of you who missed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Daily Login Reward gave us a two-hour affinity booster, which is really sweet. I'm really liking the overhaul of the uh, Daily Login Reward. It is a lot better than it used to be. So, since we got that, I decided we play some spy missions on Jupiter to rank up some of our equipment. By doing this, I managed to rank up the, or max out, rather, the Rhino and the Burstin, and I got the Ivara systems by playing the spy mission. Then we sold the Accolado and the Cronus to make way for new uh, weapons. Then we finished crafting the Bolt Tour and took that into our inventory. I saw that there was an alert for an Orican Catalyst Blueprint, so I finished that. Obviously, you never want to pass that stuff up if you don't have the mission. Make sure to get a taxi because you will regret not playing every single mission that you see with Orican Catalyst and Orican Reactor Blueprints. Now, I feel like it's a good time to mention that if you have an Apple or Android phone, you can go on the market or the Play Store or the you know App Store, whatever it's called, and you can download an app called Warframe Alerts, and you can set this to uh, make your phone vibrate every time a new alert mission pops up, so that you will never miss an Orican Reactor, an Orican Catalyst, or especially the new uh, what's it called, the new material Nitane Extract, which you're going to need a lot of if you plan on getting Wukong or Ivara. So. After we finished that, I killed the Phobos bosses, which is a mix of Captain Vor and uh, Lieutenant Lek Krill. This fight was pretty difficult, I won't lie. You're going to want to make sure your weapons are modded out pretty well. Make sure you at least have Hornet Strike and Serration up to rank 5. Now, oh, this was a bit easier for me because I do have Barrel Diffusion. If you're having trouble doing this, maybe go to the Recruiting tab and see if somebody will come in and help you. Or maybe wait off on this a little bit until you can get some better equipment. Anyways... After we did that, obviously, we unlocked Europa by killing Phobos bosses. And, like I said, we had a two-day credit booster uh, from the update 18 codes. So I decided we should go play some Void missions, as that is a fantastic way to get credits. And we were a few credits short of finishing up some quests. So I played four tier or Tower 1 capture missions, three Tower 2 capture missions, and two Tower 1 survival missions. I don't know exactly how many credits this got me, but I think it was about 300,000. Which is really nice for uh, not a lot of time worth of work. And I altogether, I got three Argon Crystals, two Forma Blueprints, a Nyx Prime Blueprint, a Nova Prime Helmet, and Odinana Prime Systems Blueprint, and the Orthos Prime Blade. Which is very lucky that we got that actually because we are going to need it to rank up into New Loka's rank 4 in the Syndicate. So, awesome. Now, after we, do, after we did this, I decided to go back and farm Sargus Ruck for an Oricon Cell, I know. Seems like we're doing this all the time, but you are going to be doing this all the time. That's just one of the downsides of the Oricon cell. And uh, after I got one, I started crafting a Forma, because we are going to need it to rank up in the Perrin sequence. Then I saw an alert for a Nitane Extract, and I went and did it. I'm not going to talk about any more of the alerts I did for Nitane Extract. Like I said, you're going to want to get the Warframe Alerts app if you don't want to miss any of these Nitane Extracts, or have a friend who has the app who's going to send you a text every time the alert comes up. After this, I bought the blueprint uh, for the Incubator Power Core and the Tonk Core, and I started crafting both of them because I did get three Argon Crystals from the Tower 1 Survival missions I did. The Tonk Core requires two Argon Crystals, and the Incubator Power Core requires one. Those are pretty annoying to get. Make sure you go to the Recruiting tab and play this mission with other players. Then we decided to start the Arcwing mission. Now, at first this will bring you through a Void Sabotage mission. You don't actually have to complete it, you just have to find one of the catches that will get you this little object that you use to find the location of the parts, I suppose. After that, you will uh, be brought to an Excavation mission. Now, you might be confused with this mission a little bit, but every time you uh, excavate a location, you will get one of the three 
Odonata parts, either the wings, the harness, or the systems. You will need to continue excavating on this mission until you get all three of them. It took me 11 excavations to get them, although I believe on my main account it took me a lot more than that. It can be a little aggravating at times, but keep at it and you will get it. After this, we started crafting the Odonata harness system and wings, obviously. Then that formal we started earlier finished up and I ranked up in the Perrin sequence. Then after this, I thought that our frames might be a little squishy, so I ranked up our Vitality and Redirection mods to rank 5. I uh, probably should have done this a lot earlier, <laughs> because uh, you will probably find yourself dying a lot without these mods at rank 5 or higher. So make sure to get that done if you haven't already. Then, since we don't have too many inventory slots for weapons opened up, I decided to sell the Bratton and the Burstin. And then we bought the Strun and the Lex in the market. You can buy those for straight credits, you don't need blueprints for them, so it's really nice for early mastery experience. Then, I went to Europa's spy mission, because you'll get more experience per hack, and decided to try to rank up some of those new weapons. I also got the Ivara chassis while playing these missions. Then we finished crafting the Tonkor, and maxed out the Strun with those spy missions. And then we finished the Odonata parts, and started crafting the Odonata. Now, that's all the progress we've got for this part, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Also, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to answer them. I will see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.